What's good guys, it's Brendan Lee and we're back on a Friday and we're going to be talking about pressing out today. So on Monday, we talked about having the bar moving really nice and straight and how to guide the bar with your arms, elbows up, elbows rotating into that nice overhead position where you can have it stable and not moving all around. So in continuation of that, today, we're going to be talking about pressing out. And this is a problem that a lot of people have when they're snatching, pressing out. And it's kind of annoying because sometimes you feel like you're giving it your all, but you're still pressing out. Why? So today specifically, I'm going to be talking about early arm engagement. So what I mean by that is your arms are pulling way too early, way too hard, and that kind of causes a disconnectivity and disrupts the flow of your snatch. So first thing, if you have early arm engagement, it can happen at two places. I'm going to show you right now. As you're snatching, early arm engagement can start as you're pulling so even when you're in, your, in the bent position and here you can pull and this is already early arm engagement as you try to pull the bar up this is bad because as you're standing you should be using and utilizing your legs your hips your back everything to pull the bar up and not the arms because the arms are such a small muscle that it can't really produce as much force as your legs as your lower body so as you pull and you tend to pull early with the arms trying to lift the bar up with your arms this disrupts the flow and kind of cuts the power out another type of early arm engagement that can happen is after you extend really nice your arms yank the bar so you pull and you yank right as you're about to extend rather than letting the hips legs extend first and then using the arms to pull yourself down so the problem is that I think most people, as they pull the bar up, it's a reflex or it's kind of a thinking where I want to bring the bar up very, very fast and hard so they use everything and what kicks in are their arms and their massive biceps. <laughs> no biceps for me. But the thinking is that if I pull my arms really hard, the bar will go up even more. Wrong. Now let me explain this. So the arms are there to bring your body down. They're not there to pull the bar up. This may be interesting to some of you. Some of you may already know this, but as you extend up and your body pushes and gives the bar momentum to go up, your arms shouldn't be pulling on the bar to bring the bar higher. Rather, it should be guiding the bar up and then as you go down, your arms pull to bring bring your body down into the receiving position, right? If you're going up and then you're pulling the bar, what happens is that, imagine you have an imaginary pole right here and you're pulling on it, what happens is that your weight gets heavier, right? You pull and your body pulls down, right? So if you're going up, the bar is going up, but you pull too early and you're still going up and the bar hasn't really reached its height yet, but you pull, so your body lands, and the bar is still here, what happens then from here to here, right? You need to start pressing the bar. So what you want is as you extend up, guide the bar with your elbows, but then as you go down is when you pull, pull the arms to bring your body down and not the bar up. So this may be a little bit confusing to you, but most athletes that I see that have the problem of pressing out always have very, very stiff and active arms. Not to say that your arms shouldn't be active, but they're overly active in the wrong way. So if you're extending up and you try to yank the bar even higher, that's when your body lands too early and then the bar is not really at its height yet and then you receive like this position and you have that little bit more and then you have to press or if you land too early and the weight's too heavy the bar ends up here and you can't get it over the head right so what you really need to do is focus on extending all the way up which I'll be talking about in the next video by the way and then also letting the arms flow and then pulling yourself down to the receive position. So some cues that can help you are this. Number one, relax the arms, let the arms flow, bring the elbows up, but let the arms flow with the bar rather than pulling on the bar. 
So I've tested this out on a few athletes and it seems to work with most of them. If they have the body awareness to relax their arms and relax it throughout the movement, more than likely the press out immediately reduces dramatically or goes away. So as the athlete sets up, what I tell them to do is usually just shake their arms, relax their body, relax the upper body before they pull. So if they have really tight arms and they're holding it like this already, right? That's not good because that's only going to engage the arms way too fast and way too early. So as they come down, I'll tell them to relax their arms and then go. For today's accessory, I'm going to be showing you the high pull. So the high pull's purpose is very diverse and it can be used to learn many different things. But for today specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to use it to teach you the coordination between extending all the way and then using the arms and the timing of which your arms come into play. Just to recap this, right? as you go down, as you're extending up, right before you extend, don't engage the arms yet. All right? Always finish triple extension like I've mentioned before in previous videos always in triple extension and then let the arms come into play so from the side view coming here don't engage right away as you extend right don't try to pull the bar up with your arms rather let the legs flow and push into triple extension and as the bar is coming up by itself let the arms flow and then add some extra leverage with the arms Right, so from the side, rather than here and trying to pull with the arms, right? Let the legs finish and then the arms come in. So when doing the high pull, if you're not comfortable with it, if you're not used to it, please take your time. When doing technique work, it's always more important to do it slowly and correctly at a lighter load, even at an empty bar if you have to, rather than loading it up, trying to do it really fast but getting the technique all wrong. We're trying to create correct model patterns for you to learn and coordinate your movement to better your technique into having a heavier and better snatch, not to hit a PR in your high pull. If you want to hit a PR in your snatch, do it correctly, do it slowly, do it at a correct load where you can feel the bar, right? But are you still moving correctly and well enough to learn before moving up in weight or even trying to move faster? So that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. Ask your questions. I'll make a video. Check out all my other videos up here. And I'll see you on Monday.